In the realm of wealth management, where financial and investment landscapes are as diverse as the clients themselves, when presenting your proposal to the client, the pitch should encompass five crucial components. First, the ability to succinctly summarize the client's input. Second, communicating our organization's house view, specifically those parts relevant to the client. Third, is confidently conveying and explaining the approach, including technical concepts related to investment strategies. Fourth is to summarize the conversation and lastly, outline a specific action plan that encompasses what has been agreed upon, including the call to action for both the client and the wealth manager. The pitching framework, Chase, is designed to help you articulate your strategic pitch with precision and finesse. Now let's explore how this framework can enhance your pitching skills in the strategic investment advisory approach. Step one, context. It all starts with context. Recall the three to five key points you've gathered from your client, primarily through the HCF Plus and the high relevance context question we've covered. Additionally, remember the five context topics, which include the season of wealth. Quickly recap these to the client ensuring that the client acknowledges your thorough understanding of their current context. This not only displays your attentiveness, but also lays the foundation for a profound and strategic discussion that aligns with your client's aspirations. Step two, house views. Be well prepared with the house views. These documents can be quite extensive with a wealth of details. Identify three to five key topics relevant to the client's context and their current portfolio situation. This is the opportunity to integrate the most relevant economic indicators and the asset classes the client is currently invested in or should consider. The aim is to provide the client with insights from this collective wisdom, fostering trust in both our organization's expertise and the wealth manager's ability to identify relevance. Your presentation should not resemble a Bloomberg reporter but should be a well-crafted summary of the three to five key points that the client should focus on based on the current bank's house views. Step three, approach. Next comes the approach. In this section, explain our strategic investment approach, specifically the core and satellite approach. First, explain the significance of the core, its purpose and the importance of maintaining consistent performance over time. Describe how the core is constructed using products that incorporate strategic asset allocation and tactical asset allocation strategies. Support your explanations with facts and figures and use positioning statements if needed to emphasize the value of the core satellite approach. Emphasize that the core isn't about outperforming the capital markets, but ensuring a portfolio's consistent performance over time based on a risk-adjusted investment approach. The satellite could be more opportunistic, where the bank identifies specific thematic opportunities. It could involve a single stock, a foreign exchange opportunity, or even private equity or alternative investments. It is important to articulate the investment strategy and approach, not the specific products at this stage. Step four, summarize. Conclude by summarizing what you've covered with the client. This follows the traditional approach of tell them what you'll tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you've told them. This ensures mutual understanding and provides a robust foundation for the action plan. Step five, execute. If appropriate, and with the client's agreement, this is the time to introduce suitable solutions and products that align with the core and satellite. This includes follow-ups to ensure the execution of this proposal and any other administrative details that both you and the client have agreed upon to move forward with the strategy. And there you have it, the C-H-A-S-E, CHASE. This is the strategic pitching framework where we combine soft skills, technical expertise, product and service knowledge, as well as the client's context into one seamlessly contextualized solution.